History is made in Sacramento. Today, an assembly committee voted on a bill that would legalize marijuana for recreational use, and it passed. It's the first time such a bill has ever passed any legislative body anywhere in the United States. Elise Kirchner shows us that the proposal may not advance to the full assembly, but even critics admit the issue now has traction. We're going to tax it, and then we're going to educate our kids about the harms of drugs. You've got to be kidding me. Despite opposition, the push to tax and regulate marijuana in California is growing. I view today as a very, very important step. Authored by Democratic Assemblyman Tom Amiano, a bill no. repealing the nearly century-old prohibition of pot passed four to three. This is a significant vote uh, today because it legitimizes the quest for debate the quest for discussion. There was a time when the word, the M word, would never have been brought up in Sacramento. But because a critical public health committee won't hear the bill this week, it won't meet a legislative deadline for advancing to the assembly floor. Still, from law enforcement... I believe it's dangerous to our youth and I think it's dangerous to the public in general. I don't think they understand how many lives are going to be lost. To community leaders outside the state capitol, outrage. The legislation that would add a $50 per ounce tax on marijuana sold for recreational use even passed. Are you kidding me? Seriously. In our community, legalizing drugs, I don't think they clearly understand the carnage. And though the successful committee vote could end up being purely symbolic, even those against it admit it's a step closer to the legalization of marijuana. I would like to see it die here, but I think this is going to continue to, to, to move forward. And the issue will continue to move forward here at the state capitol. Amiano will reintroduce a similar or identical bill on January 23rd. In Sacramento, Elise Kirshner, CBS 5. Well, one Bay Area police chief thinks that someday California probably will legalize pot. But Ann Notarangelo shows us, he says if it's going to happen, it needs to be done right. In a little town like Martinez, we stop people to ask them if marijuana should be legalized in California. Since it's out there in circulation already, that it might as well be, um, might as well tax it. If someone wants to do it, it's perfectly fine. In fact, everyone we talked to was for it, except John Higgins. No, it should not be legalized. Marijuana actually causes a lot of uh, brain chemistry uh, problems. You know, most cops are just like, it's, not, it's against the law because it's drugs, drugs are bad, boom. It, drugs are bad, but we will go, fall, go follow the will of the people. Pleasant Hill Police Chief Pete Dunbar knows public opinion is shifting. There's going to be a day where some level of marijuana use and possession is going to be legal greater than it is today. Absolutely. I just think that's the will of the people. Chief Dunbar says he's a pragmatist, so if it's going to be decriminalized, there are some things state legislators should consider. Law enforcement and other partners need to be at the table and work out some kind of deal so that other things, consequences are going to be looked at. Denmark is worried about people driving under the influence, and he doesn't believe the open-air drug markets will go away and crime will drop. He thinks the $50 tax for each ounce of pot would push people underground to avoid the fee. So I think the cartels and the drug dealers are going to continue to flourish if the current legislation was ever passed. This is a fallacy that's been thrown around by... Aaron Smith with the Marijuana Policy Project testified for the bill today and says he thinks the price of pot will drop. And secondly, that $50 isn't set in stone. If, if, if that's really the case and that actually happens, then we'll go back and change the $50. He would also prefer law enforcement not to try to shape legislation. So I'd like to see them not uh, meddling in, in, in trying to... Uh, decide whether or not something is a law or not and, and lobbying you know so hard in these in in Sacramento because their job is to enforce the law. But this legislation isn't on the fast track in fact it will probably die on Friday because the health committee can't hear it in time. So Tom Amiano and his supporters will meet again and they'll try to figure out how best to reintroduce the bill. They may wait until November when voters may have a chance to decide the issue at the polls. But it's likely the debate over who gets to weigh in on the laws and enforcement will continue long after that. Anna Durangelo, CBS 5.
The state assembly today is considering a bill that would make marijuana legal. It would not only legalize pot for recreational use in California, but tax it as well. It's the first time ever for such a bill to be formally considered by a state legislature in the U.S. Its author is Assemblyman Tom Amiano of San Francisco. Right now in California, marijuana is only legal for medicinal purposes. Next year, you could be voting on a measure to legalize marijuana in California. Supporters of the initiative say they've collected enough signatures to put it on the November ballot. The state could make huge money by taxing pot sales, but Elise Kirchner shows us opponents say it's not worth it. Uh, what this measure will do is legalize up to one ounce of cannabis for any adult over 21. The measure that could wind up on next year's ballot would allow those 21 and older to smoke marijuana, cultivate pot gardens up to 25 square feet, and would let local governments tax and regulate sales of small amounts of the drug. We're currently looking at a tax revenue benefit of approximately $1.4 billion per year. It felt wrecked, um, cool. Um, and now they're feeling clean. But Jordan Reiser, a program specialist at Full Circle Treatment Center in Roseville, says any financial benefit to the state won't be worth it. Long-term effects um, are um, the things that are really concerning with mood alteration, lack of motivation in sports and academic. Most of the drug-addicted teens she works with are hooked on pot. And like alcohol, she says, they will find a way to get it, no matter what regulations are in place. It's not hard to ask people who are of age to get you alcohol or cigarettes or if marijuana was legalized, marijuana. People would be too free. Surprisingly, in a typically liberal environment, a college campus, most Sacramento State students we spoke to agree. Lighting up should remain in the dark. It seems like an excuse for every single pothead just to smoke illegally and grow illegally at the same time. But whether you support it or not, the movement to legalize marijuana in California is growing. We have gathered over 680,000 signatures to put on the ballot in November of 2010. And before voters even get a chance to weigh in on the issue themselves, County election officials from across the state must first validate and count those signatures before the California Secretary of State places the measure on the ballot. In Sacramento, I'm Elise Kirshner for CBS 5.